Okay, so I have chosen to analyse Holly Etty's blog um, from last year because I feel like her blog is probably the most well-constructed blog of last year's students, in my opinion, just because she's included so much. She's got pretty much everything, um, all of the media types. She's got some videos, she got some um, PowerPoints and pretzies and, and all that. So, um, so when you open up her blog, you see you see her magazine straight away, which I think is a great thing because if the examiner wants to see your blog, goes on and sees your best, you're showing off your best piece of work straight away, which I think is uh, yeah works really well because it's just showing off what you can do as a media student. I also like how she's um, embedded her theme of her magazine into her blog as well. So she's got purple everywhere with blacks and then her background's like a purpley hued um, galaxy so it all ties in really well and she's just kept her theme consistent throughout her, all of her coursework which I think is great for, um, for just me realistic media and like just being professional really. Yeah so when you open her blog you see all of the um, headings at the top, all of her work in sections and have been organised very neatly. So you have um, drafting, evaluation, final magazine, planning, preliminary task, production logs and, uh, and her research. And they're all, and it's a, a bold font so the examiner can clearly see it. When you hover over it even turns a different colour so yeah, she is very professional in that sense. Um, she's got a little about me at the side, which um, is always good. Okay, so moving on to her start with research. She, all of her work is chronological, so she's done, it's like how she's learned about different medias, and different magazines and all that. All, all of her research is um, from start to finish, so she starts with um, her analysing of front covers and contents pages and stuff and moves on and starts to do some videos and stuff of similar project research, closing conventions and um, business models. So she, yeah, it's just very well made and I like the how she's done it chronologically how in depth it goes. Her, her production logs are quite good, she's done 12 lessons of updates of them. I feel like there could have been more so that might be something that I try and include. I, yeah I'll try and include it just a bit more because my teacher keeps telling us that um, production logs are good to have because it shows how you're improving as a media student all around and how your coursework is getting better and everything so um, but I do like the fact that she's included pictures in her production logs it's not all just text and also she's actually done a video as one of her logs so she's very versatile in how she conveys her coursework which I think is great her preliminary task, the, the thing we, you, that you start with at the very start of the course, is very well made. You could tell that she was a media student beforehand, before she started this course. Um, her, magaz her magazine is actually pretty great, considering it's not, it wasn't meant to be very good because you haven't learned anything by then. So, um, yeah, I think she did that very well. Um, and she's included a PowerPoint for she's scanned in her sketches, which I th is just an example of going the extra mile to get a great grade. Um, moving on to her planning, you see a video of her audience feedback, and it's a group of people in a video, and I think that's great to have um, a rare um, media type. Of within a blog because most people would just have uh, writing so I think that's great um, and all of her images when you scroll down the planning you can see from her photo shoot they're 
very high quality, she knows how to take a good shot. Um, her models are very professional in the way they're posing and she's chosen very well suited attire to her in indie um, genre. And it, it's very unique, I haven't seen anything like this before uh, um, from previous students so I think she's really um, been shown the limelight and she's put herself out there which I think is great. She's got all the minor details in there, such as all of her photos from uh, on her contact sheet. She's got a time lapse, like behind the scenes of her photo shoot. So, and she, yeah, she's got a model release form as well. So it's all the minorities that add up to a very high detailed professional blog. So she's also used a Vokey. So what that is is it's a website where you type whatever you want, and then a voice will say it to you. Um, and you choose an avatar, and she's embedded this into her blog, which I think is great. And she's got um, um, a girl, presuming, trying to try and look like her, which I, I think is great that she's using loads of different types of media because that's what's going to get you the high marks. And it just shows how well she's done with her blog. So I'm moving on to her final magazine draft. I think her magazine is pretty amazing. It's really stuck to the theme of independent. It's really, um, it's just, it looks so professional. It looks like a magazine that you'd see in a newsagent. Um, it's got everything there, all minor details, like um, she's got her barcode and, and her social media and a big subscribe box with all of her website information and um, like deals on um, subscribing and everything so I think it's a really well made magazine and she's clearly taken a lot of inspiration from real professional magazines that are already out there because it, 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 just, it looks really good and I think that's what a lot of students fail to do is take inspiration from existing magazines and they just try and improvise what they're doing and sometimes that goes a bit wrong because it, because it doesn't follow the conventions but I think she's done this really well and it, it just looks really professional and she's even gone as far as um, making a fake Twitter profile for her model with 2.7 million followers so I think yeah, it's a very clever way of idolising her model and just making it realistic as realistic as possible I just, yeah, I think she, her work is really good and I took a lot of inspiration from her blog from my own. Um, and yeah, that's about it.